The disguise she wore itched and the passers-by barely glanced at her. A woman in tatters. Then her heart skipped a beat. There he was striding down the street, his face obscured by a hood. From her vantage point, Evelyn watched intently as Andrew met with a group of rough-looking individuals. Her hands clenched in her lap. She observed him reach into his pockets, pulling out small items which he handed over discreetly. The exchange was quick, almost professional. Evelyn's mind raced. Was this what it looked like? Was Andrew involved in something illegal? But before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. As the group dispersed, the gravity of the situation hit Evelyn. What she had witnessed looked undeniably like a drug deal. This was no longer just about testing a boyfriend's character. It was about her daughter's safety. Evelyn knew she had to uncover the whole truth. Evelyn's heart raced as Andrew's gaze unexpectedly met hers. His steps slowed, a look of curiosity crossing his face. The disguise that had been her shield now felt like a trap. As he began moving towards her, her mind raced. Had he recognized her? This was not part of the plan. Her mission to protect Clara was turning into a personal crisis. Breathless, Evelyn glanced back one last time to make sure Andrew was not in pursuit. She felt a mix of relief and trepidation as she realized she had successfully evaded him. With her heart still racing, Evelyn made her way to the agreed-upon meeting spot with James, eager to leave the scene. In the dim light of a back alley, Evelyn hurried into James's waiting car. Determined to protect their daughter, they knew they needed more concrete evidence. The plan was to observe him further, to gather as much information as possible. Clara noticed a change in the atmosphere at home. Her parents seemed distracted, their smiles forced. Conversations were short and their eyes often held a worried look she couldn't decipher. Clara couldn't shake off the feeling that something was amiss, especially regarding their attitude towards Andrew. Evelyn and James trod cautiously, their words measured. They couldn't reveal their ongoing investigation, fearing it would only widen the rift with Clara. We're just being cautious, honey, Evelyn said, her voice unconvincing. James nodded in agreement, avoiding Clara's piercing gaze. The conversation escalated quickly. Clara's accusations grew more pointed and her parents' evasive answers only added fuel to the fire. Clara, increasingly aware of the tension, began to question the narrative. Her parents' strange behavior, their evasive answers, and now this tension with Andrew, it didn't add up. Resolute, she decided to take matters into her own hands. If her parents wouldn't give her straight answers, she would seek them herself. It was time to uncover the truth about Andrew. On a chilly Thursday evening, Clara discreetly followed Andrew. She kept a safe distance, her heart pounding with a mix of fear and determination. Clara's heart sank as she peered from her hiding spot. There was Andrew, engaged in what appeared to be another dubious exchange with unfamiliar, shadowy figures. Tears blurred Clara's vision as she stumbled away from the scene. Betrayal, confusion, and heartbreak swirled within her. She had trusted Andrew and defended him against her parents' doubts. The next morning, Clara faced a difficult decision. Should she confront Andrew and demand the truth? Or should she confide in her parents and seek their advice? Determined for answers, Evelyn shadowed Andrew from a distance. Her heart was heavy, burdened with the fear of what she might uncover. As she followed him through the winding streets, her mind raced with possibilities. This could be the moment of truth, the revelation that would either confirm her worst fears or offer an unexpected twist. She braced herself for whatever lay ahead. Evelyn's pursuit led her to an unassuming building bustling with activity. To her astonishment, it was a homeless shelter. She watched as Andrew, no longer looking secretive or suspicious, stepped inside with purpose. Her confusion grew. This was not the scene she expected to witness. The contrast between this and the clandestine exchanges she'd seen before was stark. Peering through the window, Evelyn saw Andrew in a different light. He was interacting with the homeless, serving food, and listening to their stories with genuine compassion. His demeanor was kind and caring, a far cry from the shady character she had suspected him to be. 
Witnessing this act of kindness, Evelyn felt a pang of guilt for doubting him. Evelyn's heart sank as she realized her assumptions about Andrew might have been wrong. Here he was, not involved in illicit activities but volunteering to help the less fortunate. With a newfound resolve, Evelyn approached Andrew outside the shelter. Her voice was steady, but her heart was not. Andrew, I need to understand, she began, her eyes searching his. Andrew spoke passionately about his work at the shelter. Helping here gives me a sense of purpose, he said, his eyes lighting up. His dedication painted a picture of a young man deeply committed to serving those in need. A side of him Evelyn hadn't seen before. Evelyn listened, her perspective shifting with every word Andrew spoke. She began to see him not as a potential threat, but as a young man with a big heart, someone who genuinely cared for others. With a heavy heart, Evelyn approached Clara and Andrew together. I was wrong, she began, her voice quivering with emotion. I misjudged you, Andrew. And for that, I am deeply sorry. Her apology was heartfelt, a sincere attempt to bridge the gap her suspicions had created. She looked at Clara, hoping for understanding and forgiveness from her daughter. Evelyn expressed her admiration for Andrew's character, acknowledging his compassion and dedication to helping others. The family's dynamic began to shift, the air clearing as understanding and acceptance replaced suspicion and doubt. Conversations became more open, the tension dissipating. Clara's relief was evident, her smile returning. James, too, participated in the healing process, acknowledging his role in the misunderstanding. It was a time of mending, of rebuilding the trust and closeness they once shared. With newfound understanding and forgiveness, the family looked forward to a united future. They learned the value of communication, of not letting preconceptions cloud their judgment. Andrew was now seen not as an outsider, but as an integral part of their family. Together, they embraced a future filled with trust, respect, and a deeper connection, their bonds strengthened by the trials they had overcome. 